Hello everyone, this is Kalyan having five plus experience in big data. Today I will be going to showing, showing how to build a web application using big data. With a simple call is like a, the HDFS browse options, how to work with the our own web application. So let me show you the some basics. So in my current system I have already configured the hurdle. Let me start the hurdle first. Let me open the browser and also open the your name node URL by default in localhost means localhost call at 500 So currently it is running it browse file system. There is no data. Let me dump some data here. So create of the directory using Hadoop fs ifn mkdr slash demo i want to create a directory in my hdfs inside the slash directory is the demo let me dump it and let's refresh it as it happened yes now inside this let's add some content also i do fs ifn put ATC HOSTS slash demo HOSTS. There is a file I have copied now inside this browser. No. Similarly, you want to add your own files also. You can add it. Maybe files can be a structure, semi structure, unstructured. Let's take some screenshot here. So I want to save this file. Let's make it as a ms one. Save it. Okay. So I have some images. Let's put that image into SDFS. FS my friend put in pictures. I have an ms one file to the demo I don't want to get change the name I can say simply demo now then in the demo folder I'll be going to get a image one but when you click on this file it's not a readable file it's a binary of data you can't read it but I want this functionality in Hadoop and let's take it some more files also which are there in the pictures So totally I have three files in my demo folder, one is the text file, other one is the MS file, other one is also MS file. So let's give the same feature in web project, your custom web project, instead of the localhost call and 500 or something like that. I want to go with my custom path. Let's open for that Eclipse. It's there in my work folder. Eclipse. Yes. Let's prepare quickly one project. As per the last video. It should be dynamic project. Yeah, the project name is something, maybe project when I want to give some assignment here. Assignment and choose your server also. Please you are not able to find now. You can able to because we configured in the last video that is Tomcat and say next. Go for next option. Just a minute. Okay. And give your project name. 
let's say project one and descriptor file also say finish now the project is created for you with the tomcat server also These are the resources and libraries level you can see okay so now we are having the basic project now I want to make this project for metadata purpose let me add the files what I'm going to sharing as part of the course this is what I'm going to share into you in this you have this files copy to the web content local director first We copy all these files to Eclipse. Okay. Let's have a discussion inside this. What are the features are added? Also, this JS folder is for <coughs> jQuery or maybe any other JavaScript applications you want to add it. Currently, I am using the jQuery 1.1.1 where you can download this one is you can go for google type jquery download go to the first link choose the version you want to go for latest or you want to go for the older one also you will be having options will be there the other CDNs you can choose it any one of them this is the version level the files will be there currently I have chosen the file is this one you can go for up to you so if I paste it here this is the file you can say control s save this file it automatically download your local system that is what I have kept it inside the matches for this <coughs> project and second part of this JS is for my requirement purpose some kind of ajax calls this is the index.html we have shown you in the previous window also how to use it some kind of assignments I have kept it here and implementation wise there are two files one is the display.html jsp and sample.jsp here if you see here there are some calls related to hdfs we have it those are not going to show like a green it's showing like a red color the reason is this project need the hadoop jars into the class path let me add those jars into the class path first there is a webinf lib this is the place i have to add my jars let me show you where the jars will be there work we install out of here let's choose these jars into the left folder now so the issues will be gone but some dependencies will be there inside the lid add these also no issue 
we are all not required, but we are adding all. It may be useful for a different use cases. Now the project won't show any red mark because the libraries are in the class path. You can, we want to add any other libraries also. You can come here. You can paste it inside the leaf folder. No. So let's see the functionality about this project. What you want to do it. I click. Go for option call. Run as server. Let's say next. And I don't want the previous one is remove other things. Go for only project assignment. Finish it. The context what we have given is like a project one. You can able to see here. Same thing. Let me open in the browser. Yes. So as part of this assignment, what are the things you have to do? It like a if I click on this option, browse file system, let's open with a new tab. This is same as this option. I need to provide the slash here. Let's say slash. Go for it. You can see demo mapped here. You can see demo mapped here. Inside the demo, three files. Inside the demo three files this is the functionality but what you are missing here is like a the table structure this table structure is not came as part of this data what I shared it so for that you should go for the assignment files you should prepare the tabular format for that and the next part of it is like a, in this hard of feature if you click on host the content is showing like this but if I click on here it's not showing so you need to implement this file Sorry. and when it is coming to back and I click on image it's showing like this go back here as a parent option and I click on here it's not showing now that is what the second assignment here image file pdf file if the data is very large it's not able to display image show like some message like it it's a limited data display only limited data these features will help you to understand the internals of the hurdle. So hope you are going to be executing this. And let me show you if suppose if all these features are implemented, how it looks. Let me start the current project. Let me add my solution project for that import export. Sorry import general project browse I have my solution let me add it so let me run my solution This is the solution for this. Is same thing. Let's say go. Look for slash. We can able to see here. Previously, you are not able to see this structure. You are able to see demo and map it. Looks as similar as here and when you click on demo you will be able to see like a different information block size when who is the one or application and files is everything now the assignment what i kept it like when i click on the text file you should be able to show it let's click on text file the content is displayed this is what you have to implement as per the assignment wise i'm sharing the base code to you you should come with this file and the next feature which is not there in the hardware base if you click on this one the image is display but if i click on image here it's not going to display this is not the inbuilt solution in the hardware so i want this functionality if i click on some other image also let me add some more image right into let me verify it quickly
Can I do that? Okay, let me have take one screenshot because I have some internet issue right now. Speak clear one. Let's try now. Okay, good. Go for images. Download another image which you fail. Let's view the MS. Just I'm downloading this MS for just demo purpose. Let's save it into pictures. Yes. Let's transfer these two files into HDFS. Adobe FS iPad Food. In pictures, we have a Kalyan one dot PNG and uh, pictures one more file list. We get a log GSP into demo. Let's browse it in HDFS. These two files are added. Same thing, let's browse it in our file system also. These two. Let's click on Kalyan one what I had it right now you can able to see let's click on the PNG this is the place the functionality is not working yet so if any breaks if you are feeling it you can able to see it also so generally what ensure it is you want like a the things what are the files you're adding it when you click on here it should be able to show it this is what the requirement I'm expecting from the everyone who are interested to prepare this project. If you want any kind of notes regarding this one, is, you can always check with me through my group and as well as with me also. So hope you're going to be enjoying with these videos and uh, the people who are the part of the Orinity and they can take this data from me and as well as they can continue work with the this coming thing what I'm expecting as assignment. This will help you to understand the internals of the HDFS calls. Okay. So, any other questions? If you have it, feel free to ask me. Thank you.